Localization goes hand in hand with growth. It allows you to increase your reach by not only making your app available, but also more appealing to people in different countries. So in this video, we will see how you can localize your Flutter app. First, on your pubspec.yaml file, add this two package as a dependency and enable generate flag, then get the package. Under your lib directory, create these folders and create these two files like this. Then create this YAML file at the root of your project. This file configures the localization tool. Then add these three lines of code. The first line of code defines the location of our localization files. The second line code defines the default template file. And the third line of code defines the location of our generated localization file. Then open these files and add all the locals which our app will support by creating a class. And add all your language you wanted to use. And you can find the language code from this website. Do you want to learn Flutter in a better and faster way? Then simply join our 12-week Flutter training on heyflutter.com where you master all the Flutter topics such as start, UI design, state management, Firebase, clean architecture, databases and so on by watching our structured courses that help you for each topic to go from a newbie until an expert level in Flutter. Then we will add all the translation files here under this directory. You can add as many local translations as you want. All you need is to make sure that your files conform to the naming convention. Then we need a template file that corresponds to our default local. In our case, it is English. In our above configuration, we have specified that our template file will be this. We have created this file and let's add our template translation file to it. Then create all the translation files based on the default template key value. And don't forget that in all new language, the value keys have to be the same as the default template. Then go to the main.dart file and import this library. And then inside the material app specify supported locals, the initial local value and localization delegate. Run your project so that the code generation takes place. You should see the generated files here under .dart tool directory. And go to the home page. Then import this package. Then let's show the user the current language just by calling app localization of context then the key value language which we have defined in our template. Then let's change the app bar title with the multi-language key as we have defined. Whenever you want to change the language, go to the main.dart file and change the initial local value simply by changing the language code. Whenever you want to add some parameters like username to your translation file, just go to your template file and add another translation with a variable and create a description then define the variable like this. Then go to other translation files and update by adding the key values with the translation. Then add the variable and make sure the variable name is the same as what we have defined in our template file. Then inside the text widget, add up localization of context, then the key value hello with the parameter inside brackets. Then just refresh your app and here you can see the username. Whenever you make changes, all you have to do is refresh or restart your app. 